Good morning. Rude here. Sorry for the lack of. Okay, right. So, grains are in. I'll go through that in a sec. Water's up to striking temperature. And today we are doing it's a white session IPA, uh, which I've just jigged around the hop schedule slightly. I uh, chucked it out there yesterday onto uh, BrewTube and a couple of people stuck in the two Pennethworth and suggested I um, move some of the um, hops back to, um, well, basically, um, I was slightly concerned that the uh, it might get taken over by the Galaxy and the Mosaic, but let's go through it and let's tell you what I'm doing now. Two kilos of wheat malt, 1.5 kilo of Pilsner, 500 gram of, oh, so it's only four kilos, so a bit less than what I'm normally doing. But I want a sessionable beer. I want something a bit lower ABV. Um, well, you know. Uh, hop schedule. 15 grams, so basically there's no uh, 60 minute edition at all. So according to, um, what's it called, Brewer's Friend, this is gonna be 40, just, just shy of 45 IBUs. So at 15 minutes, we've got 15 gram of Galaxy and 10 gram of Mosaic. At five minutes, we've got 25 gram of each Galaxy, Hue Melon and Mosaic. And at uh, Flame Out, well, Cool it down first to 80 degrees. We've got 40 gram of Huel Melon, 30 gram of Mosaic, and 30 gram of Galaxy. So then there'll be a dry hop. Uh, so we've got 30 gram of Galaxy, uh, 45 gram of Huel Melon, and 35 gram of Mosaic. So total hop schedule is 300 grams, uh, 100 of each Galaxy, Huel Melon, and Mosaic. In yeast I'm using. Uh, Smack Pack again, 3944, which I'm really um, uh, a little bit annoyed about because I have got some that are harvested. Um, now I could just pitch that straight in, but um, I should have made a starter with it, really. So I'm hoping this is sort of one of the last times that I need to you know, keep buying Smack Packs because. I'm harvesting it and then I'm not reusing it, it doesn't make any sense really, but so next time I'm going to pre-plan and I'm going to start making starters, so, uh, and again I'll hold this one back at the end, so everything's up to temp, let's um, crack on, 12 litres of water, um, 3 litres per kilo, I'll move that over now, it's going to be a 90 minute mash, I'm going to go for breakfast and then I'll be um, back with you guys, no doubt I'll be adding a spoonful of gyps on. my lovers so temperatures tiny bit too high 66 but ain't worried that's gonna drop um, a little bit more than a spoon of gypsum spoon and a bit and, and we're at 5.2 so ideal that's really as much as I do in the way of water treatment um, maybe it is something I need to start looking at a little bit more um, and I need to get up to speed on things a little bit more because, do you know what? Up until quite recently, you know, um, sort of watching videos, blah, blah, blah. And that's what I need to do. I need to find more time to watch more videos because I didn't know that you didn't have to have sort of 60 minute editions, bittering editions. You know, I just led to believe that you do and you, you don't. So, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to start to do a bit more reading because uh, Rusty made a comment yesterday saying it's a bit of a myth that, um, fucking hell, I can't get this in. Fuck it! Uh, that it's a bit of a myth that you get no, um, IBUs in late editions, so I thought that anything after 15 minutes, that was it. It was purely just flavour and aroma and no bitterness, but it's been suggested that there is, and it's a smoother bitterness. Um, so I'm going to do some reading up, and ultimately it's all about experimenting, isn't it? So. Mashed in, time is on, I'm going for breakfast, I'll see you in a bit, bah. Okay, so, 90 minutes, mash is done. 
the um, sparge water is up to temperature. Can you see that? There's iodine in there. So that is looking like a fantastic conversion to me. Better than usual. Ooh. Right, I'm hoping that this time I'm doing same old, same old, or my um, batch sparging, but I'm, uh, and no recirculation either, but I'm hoping that by next time I brew, um, next week or the week after, hopefully, touch wood, I'll have some sort of my herm, some herms-ish system set up, certainly some sort of recirculation. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, move over the initial and uh, start the sparge. Okay, I'll take some runnings. Although, I keep saying this, I don't know why I bother, to be honest. Okay, let's move over the initial wort. Same old setup. Obviously, all these pumps are getting changed soon. Hoping this week. So that's doing its thing. Okay, the um, initial words moved over and uh, start back sparging. Open tap. Turn the pump on. And we'll move over approximately 9 10 litres of water for the initial batch. Okay, so the initial um, batch is over 10 litres, leave it for 15 20 minutes. And then we'll move it into the kettle. I'll repeat that process and I shall be back with you. Is it time for a beer yet? Oh God, no, it's half 10. It's way too early. Happy days. So, that's moving over. I'll do another batch and I'll be back with you soon. It's getting that time for a beer, isn't it? Right, so I've just done my um, Second batch, moving it over now. Excuse me if I'm having two conversations because we're on a Google Hangouts as well. So there's only two people in it in a minute. Nobody likes us. So I'll come back to you when this is done and we'll get the boil on. Right, guys, okay, so everything's moved over. Um, we're slowly coming up to the boil and um, there isn't a lot to show, so I'll come back 15 minutes before the end of the boil when I start making my additions. Catch you in a bit. Okay, right, so 45 minutes in, 15 minutes before the end of the boil, and we're going to start putting in our additions. So, first of all, 15 minute addition is 15 gram of Galaxy and 10 gram of Mosaic. Going in. Also, grab. 25 gram of uh, lightly crushed coriander and 40 gram of sweet orange peel. Going in. Back in five. Okay, we're 10 minutes before the end, so. Some exciting stuff going to go on now. I've got the chiller in. And I'm going to stick a touch of yeast nutrient as well. Not normally, but I am. See in five minutes. Okay, five minute additions. Uh, 25 gram of each, um, 
Where are we? Galaxy, Cure Melon and Mosaic, 25 gram of each. See in a bit. Okay, so flame out. I'm going to turn the water on and I'm going to cool this down to 80 and then do the um, final hop edition. Oh shit. And throw water everywhere. It's part of the act. It's all part of the act, ladies and gentlemen. Honest. Okay, right. So we're down. 79.5. Eighty degrees. So we have got. So you're not looking at the top of my head. Do apologise. Keep doing that. Uh, flame out edition is thirty grams of Galaxy, uh, forty grams of Huel Melon, and thirty grams of Mosaic. Okay, so, uh, 20 minute hop stand and we'll uh, chill. Okay, so that's the 20 minute hop stand and we'll get chilled down and I shall be back with you when uh, I pitch a dazed. Okie dokie, brew day almost done. There's a lot of hoppage in this. I'm glad I remembered to put the bazooka on. Okay, so, um, brew day almost finished. It's in the fridge, it's cooling down, and I couldn't get it down cold enough with that shitty immersion chiller. Um, so, yes, as I've said numerous times, that needs an upgrade. So, it's in the fridge to chill down. Um, I'll come, there's no point in me showing you pitching the yeast but basically I'm on 1.042 I was aiming for 1.046 so we're a little bit out truthfully don't care because you know it I wanted a session one so you know I was gonna end up with I say a session one in eyes of an IPA which obviously is going to be six plus percent this was going to be 4.75 so Whatever it's going to be now, I'll work it out, 4.5%. Happy days, perfect. So, great brew day. Bing bong, over and out. I'll catch you all soon. I may do a grain to glass, or maybe not. Cheers, guys. Hello, my little darlings. So. First things first. Let's have a little drink. Fucking lovely. I love my Kegaro. The pipes are running low. So, anyhow, let's cut to the chase. There is no dry hopping with this brew. My hapless hopwit, the first ever one that I've done, super hopped. Session white IPA or hoppy wit as I'm calling it. Call it what you will because it doesn't fucking matter So We've been in the fermenter for uh, Whatever doesn't matter two weeks three weeks. I don't fucking know two weeks two weeks T Three weeks two and a half weeks. I don't know. I haven't got my notes. Anyway, it's kind of all irrelevant, really, because you mind those that you follow me on BrewTube. I posted a comment that things weren't right. It didn't kickstart. The smack pack didn't expand, um, which sometimes happens. I 
pitched it. I did pitch the yeast in the work slightly higher temperature than normal, but nothing too drastic. Um, didn't kick start. 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, not a fucking peep. So I added a touch spoonful of yeast nutrient following day, a little bit. Day after that, bit of a browsing, excuse the dog, but it was a super loose for me krausen more like washing up type so but no it wasn't star sand i know what i'm doing so you know well maybe i don't here lies the problem um so i'm thinking there was an issue with the yeast because here it is fucking stinks it doesn't spell vinegary it smells metallic -y, medical, just absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Um, I have have had a couple of sips, but I mean, it just makes you want to vomit. It is... Oh, so, we know what's next, don't we? Can't be drank. Don't know what's gone wrong. Don't know if it is an infection. So I have stripped, and these obviously is the next thing. Uh, I've stripped everything in this shed, everything. Uh, oh my God, I've just found another bee dead. So it doesn't matter what I do, shit's getting in here. Fucking hell, it's, it looks like an operating theater in here, but the shit keeps getting in. So anyway, uh, I've stripped everything. Taps out, just literally everything is out and super, super, super clean just in case. But I have a sneaking suspicion that it's either something from stressed yeast or the yeast wasn't right. It's not a vinegary taste. It's not a buttery scotch type taste that, that many you hear people talk about. It's not sour. Uh, it's fucking disgusting. I mean... It, it's just vile, you know. How, how can I describe the taste? I'm gonna have to have a little taste on it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. Ah, 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 ah. Fuck. Whatever's gone wrong, it's gone wrong. It's got to happen sometime, hasn't it? Let's just hope it doesn't happen again. Um, so. Something not right in there, boys. Goodbye, my friend. It's been an emotional roller coaster. So, while that disappears down the plug hole, I shall draw my sorrows. Well, a little bit. Brewing this weekend, and I'm almost sure this weekend I am going to do January juice, uh, which I got the recipe from Evs Bristol. Um, uh, he sent me one. It was just, it was a gusher. I mean, damn, it was a gusher. I mean, it's just 
like something that uh, Rusty had touched. I mean, it was like, but oh my God, it was lush. Absolutely gorgeous. It was just amazing. So he's very kindly, kindly, shared the recipe with me. Um, so yes, this hapless brew has gone well. Fucking hapless. Bing bong, over and out, I'll catch you all soon.